Imagine turning on your PC, and instead of Windows 11, you get a screen that looks like it was designed by a potato. Well, that's exactly how Windows started. And today I'm taking you through every version of Windows ever made. From the ancient stuff to the one you're probably using right now. And trust me, some of these versions were so bad, they should have come with a warning label. Let's start with the first ever version, Windows 1.0. Windows 1.0 was Microsoft's first attempt at a graphical interface. It was extremely basic and only allowed tile-based arrangement instead of overlapping windows. It introduced the mouse, simple applications, and the earliest form of a GUI for PCs. It wasn't powerful, but it was the beginning of everything Windows would become. Additionally, many users found it confusing since they had never used a mouse before. It ran slowly even on powerful hardware of that era. Next up, Windows 2.0. Windows 2.0 improved on the first version by finally allowing overlapping windows, better graphics, and desktop icons. It was still simple, but much more usable and visually familiar. Apple even tried to sue Microsoft over copying the Macintosh design. It also introduced keyboard shortcuts that people still use today. More developers began writing software for it, making the ecosystem larger. And even though it didn't sell hugely, it created the base for Windows 3.0's massive of success. Now we got Windows 3.0. Windows 3.0 was the first version that felt modern, with cleaner visuals, better multitasking, and built-in games like Solitaire and Minesweeper. Businesses and schools adopted it quickly because it was stable and easy to use. It became the first widely successful Windows version worldwide. It introduced true type fonts, which made Windows usable for publishing and documents. Software companies loved it because it had a strong development environment. Next up on the list, Windows 95. Windows 95 completely changed everything by introducing the start menu, task bar, and true 32-bit architecture. It brought plug and play, easier navigation, and a modern layout that all future Windows versions would copy. It's considered one of the biggest leaps in PC history. Its launch was so hyped that Microsoft hired the Rolling Stones for the commercial. Over 7 million copies were sold in the first five weeks, and it completely transformed the PC market, making home computers normal. Now let's talk about Windows 98. Windows 98 expanded on Windows 95 with better USB support, improved internet integration, and more stability. It became extremely popular for home users thanks to better performance and smoother operation. Many people used Windows 98 for nearly a decade. It introduced the first Windows update system. It was also the first version to integrate web elements into the interface. And while not perfect, it remains a nostalgic favorite for people who grew up in the 90s. Now we got the least favorite one, Windows ME. Windows ME, known as Millennium Edition, is infamous for being unstable and unreliable. It crashed constantly and had compatibility issues everywhere. Most users upgraded or downgraded as fast as possible. It attempted to improve multimedia features, but failed due to poor execution. Many PCs struggled to run it well, making the experience even worse. And today it's widely considered the worst Windows version ever released. Next up, the business windows, Windows NT. The NT line was built for businesses, focusing on security, reliability, and professional tools rather than visuals. NT 4.0 added the Windows 95 style interface while keeping a strong professional core. It became a favorite in offices and institutions. It introduced a proper driver model for enterprise hardware. Many servers ran on NT for years because of its stability, and the NT architecture eventually became the foundation for all future Windows versions. Up next, Windows 2000. Windows 2000 improved on NT with a more modern interface, strong stability, and wide compatibility. It was fast, reliable, and perfect for business environments. Many offices kept it installed long after newer systems came out. It added advanced management tools for IT administrators. It also supported plug and play better than earlier NT versions. And it set the stage for Windows XP by blending business stability with home user features. Next up is the famous Windows XP. Windows XP is one of the most beloved operating systems ever, combining NT stability with a friendly, colorful interface. It was fast, stable, and supported tons of software and hardware. Some people used it for more than 15 years. XP also introduced automatic updates, which helped keep systems secure. It became the standard OS for schools, offices, and homes worldwide. And even after support ended, millions refused 
refused to upgrade because XP was just that good. Next on the list, Windows Vista. Windows Vista introduced a beautiful new interface, transparency effects, and modern graphics, but required extremely powerful hardware for the time. Most PCs couldn't run it smoothly. This led to slow performance and negative reactions. However, Vista introduced essential security improvements that later versions depended on. Its aero design set the style foundation for years. Now we got the legendary Windows 7. Windows 7 fixed everything Vista struggled with by optimizing performance, cleaning up the design, and making the system smoother and faster. Many users consider it one of the best operating systems ever made. It was stable, compatible, and extremely reliable. It improved boot times, refined the start menu, and added better window management with AeroSnap. Businesses trusted it more than Vista, leading to huge adoption rates. And even even after Windows 10 released, millions stayed on Windows 7 for years. Now let's talk about Windows 8. Windows 8 attempted to merge desktop PCs with tablets by introducing giant tiles and removing the classic start menu. This confused and frustrated most users. While fast and secure, it felt too different and disrupted the workflow people were used to. It was optimized for touch screens, which most people didn't have. Many users felt the design was trying too hard to copy smartphones. And despite its performance improvements, its UI changes made it one of the most disliked Windows versions versions. In my opinion, this is the legendary version, Windows 10. Windows 10 combined the best of Windows 7 and Windows 8, bringing back the start menu while keeping modern features. It became the most popular operating system in the world thanks to stability, compatibility, and constant updates. It worked on almost any device. It introduced virtual desktops, improved security tools, and better gaming performance. It also became a Windows as a service platform with ongoing updates, and many people saw it as the perfect perfect middle ground OS. And now the newest version, Windows 11. Windows 11 introduced a modern UI with centered taskbar icons, rounded corners, and a clean design. It required newer hardware, frustrating some users, but offered smoother animations and better performance. It feels more minimal and polished. It improved window snapping and multitasking. Gaming performance was upgraded through direct storage and auto HDR. And Windows 11 focused heavily on consistency after years of Windows Windows 10's mixed design styles. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which Windows version you used first.